Hi everyone, welcome to our backyard chicken coop. My name's Amanda. Back in April, my husband and I decided to get some chickens. We didn't know how to go about building a chicken coop, so we went on to YouTube and found some tutorials on how to build one and how to maintain our coop day to day, month to month. First things first, we'd like to introduce you to our chickens. They are like our children now. So we have Shaquandra, Lashandra Day, Biggie Shorty, Danala Rhymes, Tyquasia 2.0, and Lucy. And our newest addition to the group is our only rooster, Mr. Bo Vice Burnsides. The most important part about keeping healthy chickens is maintaining a clean coop, which is why we've built our coop to be simple and efficient as possible for cleaning. So to get into our coop, we built this door on the back with a window. All you have to do to open it is put down the window, open the latches, and it's super easy to clean. Once you open the door, like so, you'll see that we have a lot of pine shavings and that's because we use the deep litter method. How that works is you layer pine shavings on the base of your coop, little by little, so we only put like pine shavings down maybe once a week to cover up the poop and um, then we only have to clean it about once a month. You'll see that it's really easy to clean because our base of our chicken coop is linoleum flooring. Everything just slides right out, right into the barrel. Super easy, it takes maybe two minutes. So for easy cleaning, we wanted to make a door big enough for us to be able to get in there and sweep out everything and clean once a month. So once everything brushed out, you can see that it basically looks as good as new. Now we have a full barrel, and what we're gonna do, if you haven't started one already, I highly recommend that you start a compost pile, because that's where we're gonna bring this wheelbarrow to, our compost pile. So we put everything in our compost pile from cardboard, uh, grass clippings, weeds, leftover food, um, these pine shavings, and even when we clean our run, which we'll get to later. So we keep our pine shavings and our food in a barrel outside of the coop. So I just bring it over and make sure there's a really small layer that goes down first. So when we first made this coop, we wanted to be sure that it was built big enough for the amount of chickens that we wanted. Um, we originally didn't know if we wanted six or eight. We ended up going with six, so we made our chicken coop four by four on the inside. As you can see, there's plenty of room for them to move around in here at night. We have found that um, we put up two different roosts for them to roost on at night, um, but they like to cuddle together, so they don't really use this one on the left-hand side. We just put it there just in case because they're gonna grow and they're not gonna be able to all fit on this one. Another great feature that we have in here, when we first got our chickens, it was still kind of cold at night for New England. Um, so we put a heat lamp in the middle on a two by four right here. It's clamped on a two by four and we have um, two nails. So just in case it falls, it catches on something. We also put in a thermometer just in case. Also, our chickens aren't old enough yet, but sooner or later we have their nesting box in here. It's closed off for now because we don't really need it because they're not laying. Um, but if you just put this thing up, I don't want to take it out, but you can see that it comes out and uh, their nesting boxes are there. And I can show you the nesting boxes, what they look like on the other side. So this is our nesting box. We probably built it a little bit bigger than what we needed, but um, just in case we wanted to get more chickens down the line, um, we could. Currently, if you open it right here, there's three nesting boxes. We were told that we'll probably use two of them, but just in case we wanted to have a third one. Once our chickens start laying, we just have to pop this back piece out and we'll just fill these nesting boxes with hay. The top of this nesting box, as you can see, has some like tape, flashing tape on it. We wanted to waterproof it because the seams, when you open this, the hinges, we weren't sure if it was gonna keep the water out. So to be extra careful, we waterproof the top of this. So as you can see, our chicken coop door is pretty large. Um, and that's just because when we open it and we wanna clean it, there's enough space to do so. I mean, it makes everything super simple when you can just get in there and start cleaning. Um, when we first built this door, 
We knew that we wanted to have a window somewhere, but we weren't sure where to put the window. So we decided to just put it on the door. And there's a little hinge right here. You lift up, and there's a little window for the chickens. Now in the summertime, it got really hot. So we didn't, we started off with making these air holes right here, the vents, but um, it got extremely hot in there and we weren't sure if that was good enough for them. So we built this little window and we made sure to put hardware cloth over it so the animals don't get in at night. We have two locks right here on the left hand side of the door. Easily lock from the outside so nothing can get in. You'll see that we also have vents not only in the front right here, but also in the back as well. Um, just wanted to be sure that they had enough ventilation. So this is our chicken run. It's attached to the chicken coop. We were very worried about predators because we live so close to the woods, so we wanted to be sure that it was predator proof. We bought hardware cloth off Amazon, and we made sure to dig around our run about a foot deep, so anything that wanted to crawl underneath would just be stopped by the hardware cloth so nothing can get in. Our door right here, we made sure to lock uh, both ways. So nothing can get in. We put a lock on it. You get in like this, open the door, and there's even, if you just bring this in with you, you can lock it from the inside. So the reason we built our chicken coop off the ground is so the chickens had some coverage and they could run underneath, uh, just in case it rains. Um, on our run, we also added a roof that's right over the ramp to get into the coop, just in case. So as you can see, our whole run is protected by hardware cloth, uh, including the roof, just because we live um, where there's a lot of hawks, a lot of different birds, animals, like I said, close to the woods. So we don't want anything getting at our chickens. So the reason we made our chicken coop and our run so much larger than um, for example, the ones that they sell at Tractor Supply is because we wanted to give our chickens enough room to run around. Um, I can't imagine myself having to run around in something that was too small, so that's why we made it so tall and so much bigger. So it's super simple to clean our coop. I go in there with a rake. The whole first layer is just hay. I think we only clean our coop maybe every three weeks, probably once a month. Um, if it starts smelling really bad, then we'll come out here and clean it, but it doesn't really need it all too much. We only have six chickens. So I take a rake, I rake the whole coop, and then I take a pitchfork, and I just put everything into the same wheelbarrow and then toss it into our compost pile. So once you've raked out your run, um, all you have to do is lay down some hay. Now there's no right or wrong way to do it. You can toss it anywhere and you can rake it later if you'd like. So just throw it in clumps. You could probably do the deep litter method in places like California, maybe drier areas, um, not so much places that get more rain. Now don't worry about it being perfect. Um, the chickens love to scratch at this, so they'll just scratch at it and move it around anyway. What I love so much about our run is that um, we built it big enough for the chickens to have things to do, such as roosting on this little swing. Um, they love, sometimes we'll find all of them on the roost. We'll come back here and all of them will be sitting on it because they love it so much. Um, another great thing that I like is this roof that we put up. We had leftover metal roofing from our chicken coop roof, so we just put this extra amount over our run just to give them a little bit extra uh, coverage just in case it rains, just in case it snows. So this is our coop door. We wanted something that was easy access so we didn't have to come into the run and open it for them every morning. We could open it for them from the outside. Um, it's work on a pulley system with uh, just twine and we have eye hooks to keep it in place uh, if you can see it's up here and on the outside um, and it's held up with a screw that's just placed in on the hardware cloth so it stays in place. Um, at night if we want to put it down we just take it out and it just slides right down. Another great feature that we have for our coop is the security light. Um, we live so close to the woods that if anything was to come by it's solar powered so if you walk by it at night it turns right on. This is our ramp for our coop. It's pretty simple. You just take a 2x4, uh, line it up to the door and then just take smaller pieces and attach it to the board. So my favorite part of our coop is definitely our feeding system. We just built this. We found the idea online to take PVC piping from Home Depot and cutting out the little troughs for the chickens to feed from and then putting the pieces together so you access it from the outside of the coop so you don't ever have to come inside to fill the feeder with food. And the more they peck at it, the more it comes down from the barrel and then just fills up. 
What's nice about this feeder is that you only have to fill it maybe once a week, so if you ever wanted to go on a vacation, you knew that they had food uh, enough for you to be away. We also wanted to be able to put it uh, under the coop so rain wouldn't get into the food at all. So we put it under there. So we have a backup feeding and watering system uh, that's built into the coop fencing. Um, all you have to do is cut a piece out of the hardware cloth and it pops right in and that way you can access it from the outside uh, and the inside as well. Um, the chickens just peck at the food under here and it just pours down. For the watering system in our coop we have um, this water system right here. Um, you can access it from the outside, pull off the top and pour water into it. It's super simple. The chickens just usually come by and peck at this yellow thing and it just fills with water. Now another watering system that we have is this poultry drinker. Um, we have it lifted up off the ground uh, because they have poultry nipples at the bottom where the chickens can just peck at it and the water comes out for them. So our chicken coop and our run is located pretty far back from our house, uh, which means that we don't have any running water. Um, we had to come up with a solution, so we thought a rain barrel system would be perfect. What we have is a gutter system that pours off of our roof, goes down the gutter, into this piece of PVC piping, down the PVC pipe, and into our rain barrel. Now if we ever need to fill up any of the water systems, we just turn on our rain barrel. So there could be many different reasons why you want chickens. For us, we got them because our chicks were so bad in our lawn. We also wanted a challenge and see if we could try having our own eggs. So there you have it, that's our coop, guys. If you have any questions, feel free to comment below. My name's Amanda, have fun raising your chickens.